News that dogs at LA City shelters are not getting walked for weeks or months at a time led to other allegations of similar treatment at a shelter in San Bernardino County. Animal res rescuers have come forward accusing management at the divorce shelter of not walking dogs and not giving them adequate medical care, leading to suffering and even death. Casey Montoya reports from DeVore. We want to warn you some of the images may be disturbing. There's plenty of times I leave the shelter and I just cry the whole way home. Caitlin Bell has been visiting the DeVore Animal Shelter in San Bernardino County every week for over a year, where she spends time with dogs waiting to be adopted. There is no volunteer program for the public, um, so the only interaction I can give them is just uh, through the kennels. She teaches them what she can through the metal cages and gives them affection, something she says they desperately need. You don't see dogs being taken out for walks. You don't see anyone playing with the dogs. A county spokesman says the county utilizes work release volunteers to assist in providing support services to shelter operations. But animal advocates say they rarely see those work release volunteers at the shelter. Caitlin says the lack of walks isn't the only problem. She says there's no vet on site, and although many animals get get basic medical care from off-site vets under contract with the county. <coughs> Many go untreated, left to suffer, like Pebble, who ended up in the shelter after being attacked by a coyote. They said that they took her to the vet and the vet just basically prescribed pain medication. The dog was suffering, in my opinion. Um, it was one of the harder ones to see. DeVore records show a vet gave her stitches, but never checked up on her injuries. She laid in the same spot bleeding for four days until she died. Radish was an older dog who Caitlin says started to decline quickly, rapidly losing weight. I took a video one day and I said she will die in here. And about a week later, she did die in her kennel. Shelter records show this French bulldog named Richie was treated for eye and skin conditions the day he arrived, but days later still looked like this. Malone came in on July 17th after being hit by a car, although medical records from the shelter noted he had road rash all over his body and lameness on all four legs. He was only treated with pain meds. When he was rescued by Hit Living Foundation, they discovered he had been sitting in the shelter for more than two weeks with a broken pelvis. Bruce Kreider has been rescuing dogs from DeVore for eight years and says simple changes at the shelter, like the way the dogs are treated when they arrive, would make many of them more adoptable. Domineering treatment of by the animal control officers of the dogs puts them into kind of a flight or fight mode. They bark, they react, they snap and then the dogs get labeled as rescue only. Of the numerous complaints I received about operations at DeVore, most people said they were afraid to go on camera out of fear of retaliation by shelter management. Images like these can be found on social media showing conditions at DeVore on a daily basis. Dirty kennels, algae in the water bowls, and most dogs only have a single toy. Their quality of life doesn't matter. They're an unwanted animal is really how it feels. In San Bernardino County, Casey Montoya, KTLA 5 news.